center stage. And we're going to show you what 424 Transport and Rescue Squadron does when performing a rescue mission. Bringing the helicopter into a steady hover just above the water. I want you to keep an eye on the side of the helicopter because in just a moment, one of our Sartec divers is going to be exiting the helicopter. Four Transport and Rescue Squadron, based out of Trenton, Ontario, participates in the National SAR program with the CC-130J Hercules, as well as the CH-146 Griffin helicopter, which you see performing for us today. Outside of rescue missions, they're always working to maintain their skills through training missions. These flights and scenarios are realistic and ensure that proficiencies are maintained so they can execute these maneuvers in potentially life-threatening situations and marginal weather. Our first Sartek in our imaginary scenario, popping a flare out there so that uh, the helicopter can mark his position. That Sartek is also tending to any medical needs of uh, the people that are on board this imaginary vessel in distress. And in just a second, you're also going to see that SAR diver puff uh, some smoke out there to let the helicopter know that it's time for them to come back in and insert a second Sartek. This uh, second uh, Sartek is going to be hoisted down from uh, the deck of the CH-146 Griffin helicopter. And there you see our Sartek attached to the hoist cable, very slowly being let down closer to the water. Responsible for an area of more than 10 million square kilometers, 424 Squadron, work under the command of the Joint Rescue Coordination Center to coordinate emergency response services. 424 Transport and Rescue Squadron covers the bulk of Canada's landmass by working closely with search and rescue partners that include local police forces, fire services, the Canadian Coast Guard, Parks Canada, and many more. second uh, Sartek has uh, met up with the first Sartek. They'll continue to assess the situation and prepare the individuals on board this uh, boat in distress uh, for extraction. Here are both Sarteks attached to the hoist cable. Just imagine that one of those individuals is uh, the person that's on board the uh, boat. They would slowly but surely hoist them back into the helicopter. Filing, flying the CH-146 Griffin today are Captain Simon Raw and Captain Nicholas Effenberger. The flight engineer managing the hoist cable and guiding the pilots is Master Corporal Richard Barrow. The two search and rescue technicians that jumped out of that helicopter and being hoisted are Master Corporal Matthew Sankey and Master Corporal Ahmad Secure. Now that uh, the individuals have been safely hoisted into the helicopter, they'll continue to receive medical attention by the Sartex. And in the meantime, we're going to see just a little bit more of a demonstration of the capabilities of the CH-146 Griffin helicopter. Coming in from our left, say hello to our CH-146 Griffin helicopter. 